My name is Brad Burton, I'm Managing Director of Four Networking. That's me on the front cover of that magazine. And yes, I have lost weight. Thank you very much. Good morning. to come and talk to real people, entrepreneurs. That if, if you want to shoot the lights out, you've got to be prepared. You can be a winner, a big winner, if you're an entrepreneur. We kept raising standards and aiming higher and higher. And we rose to the challenge, we grew our business as a public company. We were winners, we were losers, we were also ran. I'm a bit driven, but so are a lot of you here too. So come on, let's make it be great. You're very welcome. Uh, we'll come to the floor shortly for questions. Uh, my, one of my ambitions in life was always to, uh, and still is, to live long enough to see the end of the DFS sale. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, it helps to accept the inevitable. So a precise definition of inevitable. I think so. <laughs> in short, I think social media is here to stay. Our businesses are changing every day. Oh, oh my bladder. Find out. How are we going to measure the success of it? Next question from uh, Kevin Curley. I think it's going to get tough. You always have boom and bust and it's up and down. My, my view is that this recession, and it's just my view, is that this recession is very different to anything that's ever been before. So what happened to Japan many years ago, where interest rates are going to stay bobbling along the bottom. No end. And I think Great Britain is, 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 is world class still and very well recognised. I think I'd probably take Graham's advice and go east. Um, if I had to start again. I've always had a philosophy, you've got to keep your, you've got a good idea, you've got to try and keep uh, off the radar. I don't like competition, I'd rather <laughs> not be smart and have it all to myself. And to be able to look at it and say, well this is where we are, this is our strengths, this is our weaknesses, how can we take this forward? There's not a single business in this room that I couldn't double your sales in about one minute. If I put a gun to your head, right, and I said, listen, double your sales, right, in the next week, or Manchester Motivation, by the way. <laughs> what are you waiting for? If you're waiting for perfect conditions to make a decision, forget it. Thank you. Working with the Dragons is exciting. At night, when the show aired, probably by 10 past 10, my website crashed. And it was a guy offering me £250,000. Twitter, that's been really interesting for me. And you do realise who your true friends are when you're constantly working. And you're constantly what the plan is, um, whether it stacks up, and whether they're in the environmental sector, whether they're in ex-offenders, whether they're in the agricultural sector, I don't care where they are, uh, as long as um, they're creating private sector jobs and wealth. The web has become a place of doing business. The cloud is now de rigueur. It's a big phrase about moving everything into the cloud. It's going to take time to mature, but I really do believe there are benefits in being involved. This data suggests that Twitter users uniquely demonstrate higher engagement with brands, not just tweets they post. Remember now there are 100, 101 million users on LinkedIn. So how does social media work then? People like to update anywhere, anytime. This is how important social media is becoming. Don't say or do anything you wouldn't normally do in public. Be nice, diplomatic, even if it's not your instinct. Thank you very much, and over to you. Obviously these are, the, these are the mega giants of today, but only five years ago they weren't. And I think their kind of um, their presentation of their brand. The law of turf, you only go forward when you stick your neck out. You've got to have high levels of belief. If you've not been on it, check out Yorkshire.com. Welcome to a whole lot more going on. Welcome to Yorkshire. Yorkshire.com. Um, there was laughter in there, there was some serious questions, even I learnt something. What a great concept it is. So many vibrant business people around the place and all learning from each other. An insight into what business people in Yorkshire think is happening now and that's 
you're only going to get that here at the Yorkshire Mafia, really. So I think there'll be people that will take away things from here that will manifest themselves in the bottom line of the business in the long term. The uh, Yorkshire Mafia conference has been fantastic over the last day. I think the, the, you know, you can feel the energy. For these guys to get involved in there, uh, guys like Lord Kirk and Lawrence and Ajaz, is, uh, is, is fantastic. Yeah, the best thing about, uh, I think, the panel session is the breadth of experience we've got on it, you know, and the age of experience that we've got on it. And uh, also we did it in a light-hearted way, so uh, hopefully that worked for people. Listening to Brad Burton's talk, get off your ass, it's great. It's been phenomenal to see such a big turnout. Greatest opportunity now, isn't it? People working together at Yorkshire Mafia, it's been a great day for that. So the Yorkshire Mafia can make a big contribution to achieving our objectives and the government's objectives. But speaking as a businessman, the great benefit of uh, occasions like this is meeting a lot of other business people. The energy and the pace, and you've got the culture and the ethos, that's something that you can't make up. I go to events all day long, they've smashed it big time, trust me.